Coach Vegan, 4-0 in, in non-conference, heading to Idaho State. Uh, how do you feel evaluate your team at this point? Well, I think we, I think we continue to make progress. Um, you know, you can only play the schedule that's in front of you. I, I know that, and this wasn't exactly the schedule that was going to be played. So, appreciate the opportunity to have this game today. Um, and I thought today, uh, while it wasn't wasn't perfect, I, I thought we we battled through some things um, we, we, of all types. You know, offense, defense, special teams made plays in all ends. Got a lot of guys in the game again, um, and I, I would assume got out of it pretty healthy at the same time. So. Like where we're at at the end of non-conference, and we got, uh, you know, uh, obviously a tough conference slate ahead of us, starting with with Idaho State next week. Anything that stick out today uh, offensively for, for the, the backup guys? You got chance in there for some meaningful reps. Well, more effective, you know. Um, we mixed it up a little bit different. Um, o line, we were a little bit deeper today than we were um, last last time out. Uh, Colson, Colson Kuhn, I think anytime he's had an opportunity to touch the ball while he's been in this program, it's uh, it's kind of looked that way, you know, and a lot of times that's been scrimmages to this point. Um, so to get uh, get him 10 carries, get him over 100 yards, um, you know, he's a he's a guy that can do it, and uh, I think that's that was probably the biggest thing in, in that uh, in that second half. So happy for uh, that group to put some points on the board. I, I got a defensive defensively that group, uh, while I mean, Mercer's kept going after it, uh, you know, by and large did a pretty good job of. Uh, you know, making them at least really earn it. Oh, second straight game with a block punt. I guess what you've done with that special teams unit and that block in the round. Yeah, uh, you know, first it, it starts with uh, uh, Coach Udy, Coach Monaco, um, you know, really digging into the scheme, um, trying to find, you know, uh, um, an avenue for us to get a block, to get pressure. And, you know, uh, so, so getting that going through the course of the, the preparation and then the guys executing it. Uh, you know, Ryland, um, He's the one that blocked it. He's the one that deserves the most credit, um, you know. But it's a bunch of guys creating that um, that opportunity for him um, and doing doing their jobs like any other play. And then the, the ball bounced up nice to Zach. So um, those are obviously game changing plays we've had in both these these two home wins. And hopefully we can continue to put pressures pressure on punts as the season goes along. Well, I guess speaking of pressure, talk a lot about defensive pressure really this year. It seems like you got in the backfield quite a bit. Yeah, I knew with this this team. Um, you know, with, with their quarterback, he was a guy that could make some things happen. And I look and they threw 44 times, which that means they probably dropped back to pass or whatever, close to 50 times. Um, that, uh, you know, we had to keep him corralled better. I, I thought we did, did a better job of that than we did early in that main game. Um, I, I did, did think we matched up well with our, you know, uh, our rushers against their, their, uh, their line and uh, guys by and large made those, made the best of those opportunities. So, um, you know, we're not having to do it, you know, necessarily with with extra guys. I think our, our front four can get after the quarterback pretty well. And they got to, it's great when they get those opportunities because they uh, they certainly have gotten more and more as the, the game has gone on. One of the, the sacks was Hayden Gray. Um, has he uh, emerged at all in practice over the course of the season? Yeah, you know, I think I think Tayden's a guy that uh, through the course of spring and fall, um, we would say flashed. He's very talented, um, very talented young man. and, and even against Maine in his time, he flashed, but he flashed a little bit both ways. So my, my hope is that was a big step for him. Um, you know, uh, in that back end, we've we've had to do some shuffling. Uh, Brock Steele's out, Blake Stillwell's out. You know, so hopefully for us, Tayden can really solidify himself as a guy. You know, along with Taki, Lula Kepa, um, Tyson Potner, that we can we can really count on. Uh, you know, we'll get Drew Polidor back at some point in time, but until that, um, you know, we'll need guys like Taki and Tayden, um, Tyson to really, to really step up. And I think he's, that was, I, I hope uh, we watched that film. That was a big step for Tayden today. Um, Colson, <coughs> another guy that you talked about yeah. on the offseason and yeah. the touchdown today. Yeah, no, uh, Colson, he, you know, he just happens to be behind a few guys that um, are, 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 we think are really good. Um, but, uh, you know, Colson made the most of that opportunity. Uh, unfortunately, we had the fumble and that, uh, that sprung, um, sprung Colson to get out there. And, and you know, um, sometimes that's the way it works. And then Colson certainly made the most of it. He's, uh, you know, he had an incredibly productive high school career. I think we, we know about that, but he's a, he's a guy that belongs here. And um, he's done a lot of things, special teams wise, dirty work and that type of thing. But 
you know, it was good to see him get some run on offense today. Um, a couple of guys who started today, uh, Brock and or Paul Brad and, and uh, Burke Mastel, um, and then uh, JT Reed getting getting in for the first time in a while. Um, what would just kind of thoughts on those three and, and their performances? Yeah, uh, you know, Paul and, and Blake Schmidt are really co-starters. I mean, someone's got to go up to the first play. Um, I think those guys have both been been playing well at the nose nose position. Um, I know we went with with Burke. I, I think JT still playing with the club, so you know it'll be good to to see how that looked. Uh, JT played about I don't know five six plays last year. Um, you know that's coming off of the year where he was an all conference type player, and, and it's been so it's been a long road for him. And, and you know so really excited for him to be back. You know some of the things that kept him out um, last year, those things are in the rear view. He certainly, the club doesn't help, but he's 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 come a long ways. And then Burke, uh, that was really his first uh, you know first go today and he played a little bit last year but first time you're out there as a, as a starter and you know I'm sure there was a, a little bit of, of rust you know he missed a, a good stretch um, here in, in the fall but uh, it's great to have those guys back and you know our depth you know I think will continue to be um, you know solidified on that offensive line. On that last drive of the first half there you guys uh Look like you're, you know, just working a lot of short passes, and then on the touchdown pass, look like that was intended to be a little shorter, but uh, no. Well, um, yeah, I, I think getting those opportunities again, the two minutes we've had, the I think the good fortune to create a bunch of those four games in um, mixed results, but to execute there, um, we had two timeouts, we didn't have to use them. Um, Tommy was on point. Uh, the, the touchdown to Adam was a play off of a play we had thrown a few times. It wasn't a broken play. It was uh, Tommy had to move a little bit, but it was a design play. And you know, I think Adam continues to show his ability to to not only catch the football, but then you know, uh, be able to run after the catch over and over again. So that was a big uh, that was a big sequence for us because I, I think that that first quarter was was somewhat uneven offensively, but I thought we came out, we were a little more balanced, and then that drive, you know, was was all pass. Um, so it made you feel a little better about how that uh, first half closed for us. It was Tommy's second three touchdown passing game of his career. Um, they, you know, good numbers. Um, I know he missed one to Ryan King, but uh, did you, were you pretty pleased uh, or how did you feel about it? Yeah, you know, I, I would have loved for us to connect on the one to Ryan. Um, I know we went after um, Junior once, we missed. I know we got an interference. So the down the field stuff, um, you know, uh, those, those go balls we didn't connect on, but it was 14 of 18. So that was probably the, the misses right there. But I just thought, you know, he continues to um, handle pressure well. You know, the, the, the pass to Ryan uh, Lonergan was a, you know, free, free blister in his face. Um, I think he had one more like that where he's just negotiating that uh, that pressure a little bit differently, um, and no one went that it's coming. You know, I, I think they're, it's high risk, high reward for them in that situation. Again, to Ryan, and that was a big play for us. So, you know, I think we're we're four games in with Tommy. I, I think he's been very efficient. Um, we we still I think uh, have some big play cap keep capability that we're kind of uh, we haven't executed completely well, um, but. I, I think where our passing game is now, I think, think we all feel like we're, you know, we're in a different place than we maybe were this time last year, I guess. How'd you feel about Chance Wilson today? Yeah, I, again, to get him um, that kind of uh, that kind of run, I, you know, and I think Tyler was really trying to get him loose running, and it didn't really play out that way. He only had the one pass, but I think things, the ball moved, I, I guess, by and large. I know he did. He was out there when we fumbled. That wasn't his issue, but you know, um, I think he's continued to become more comfortable. Um, he's got playmaking ability in his own right, and you know, it's a it's a confidence, experience piece that hopefully could, that can continue to grow um, in him. Uh, just any thoughts on? I know it's Danny used or Danny Luke up a second uh, targeting. Um, any just any thoughts on? on yeah, I, well, I, if I recall, I think it was a pretty similar play at Weber State. You know, a guy going down. I don't think there's any intent whatsoever. Um, so I'll have to take a, a better look at it. Um, I, I just saw the one um, flash up on the board. So you know, it's uh, again, there's no intent. It's <clears throat> we certainly don't want to lead with the crown. I, I think that's ultimately what they think they saw. So um, unfortunate. You know, that's a, at least a, about a quarter of play that Danny would have missed in that in that sequence. Um, I. I it's part of our game to teach uh, 
teach safety, to protect defensive players. So I think both of Danny's have come in that regard, more that protecting the defensive player versus anything it would have, any kind of harm it would have uh, put on the offensive player.